Let's get this set up. All right, so we should be good. I, I think so. I don't know. All right, how's everybody doing tonight? We are back with another live stream. We're going to be jumping and continuing our playthrough of Assassin's Creed 3. Now, I've been absolutely loving this game. Um, the story's been awesome. The whole naval combat, the weapons. It's, it's, it, it, Connor's a beast. He's definitely a freaking beast of an assassin. Uh, and he doesn't even need to be sneaky, guys. He can just kill everything. Legit. Uh, but so far, uh, I've been definitely enjoying this game a lot. I know it was catching some hate. Uh, back when I was playing the other ones, people were telling me, you know, AC3 is terrible. Or AC but then there were some people that were praising the game, saying it was awesome. And uh, But, hey, I, I, I honestly have been really, really enjoying this game. Blake, what's up, brother? How you doing? What you mean, Caspi? <laughs> well, how's everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Let's get into this. There it is. Oh, uh, no, you guys bringing up strawberry grass. I wish I could eat some of those strawberries. I don't even think we have strawberries to eat. Oh, we'll be doing some Red Dead tomorrow. We'll be doing some Red Oh, I forgot I swapped to the black. It's so good. All right, so let me uh, get my bearings. I forgot where we left off. Where are we right now? We're in New York. Okay. Uh, last time we came to New York, we ended up in prison. <laughs> Legit. In prison. So, I don't know what these... Let me see. We'll head over to the main area here. We'll start off with that. So, the crazy thing is, um, we ended last episode doing a, like, this George Washington mission... But come to find out, it was DLC. But then I'm like, yo, what is the tyranny of Washington DLC if it's if there's missions integrated into the main game that I'm playing right now? Oh, it's weird. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Father and son. Oh, we're probably linking up with Haytham. Evening, Connor. Yep. I see you made it here in one piece. He could have really snuck up on us. Recovered from your beating, then? Javier, how you doing, brother? Benjamin Church is held up on an abandoned brewery on the waterfront. We should be done with this by sunrise. Good. I would like to have those supplies returned as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't want to keep you from your lost cause. Come along then. Follow me. Look at this parental bonding here. James, how you doing, man? Here we go. Tell me something. Hmm? You could have killed me when we first met. What stayed your hand? We're doing all right, James. Curiosity. I appreciate you asking, man. Any other questions? What is it the Templars truly seek? Order. Purpose. Direction. No more than that. It's your lot that means to confound with this nonsense talk of freedom. Time was. The Assassins professed a far more sensible goal. That for peace. Freedom is peace. Oh, no. It's an invitation to chaos. Only look at this little revolution your friends have started. 
I have stood before the Continental Congress and listened to them stamp and shout. All in the name of liberty. But it is just noise. And this is why you favor Lee? He understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the Jobinels who profess to represent it. <laughs> it seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. The people have made their choice. And it was Washington. The people chose nothing. It was done by a group of privileged cowards seeking only to enrich themselves. They convened in private and made a decision that would benefit them. Oh, they might have dressed it up with pretty words. That does not make it true. The only difference, Connor. Damn, yo, hate them over here. Hate them spitting that truth, guys. That I do not feign affection. Yo, he's like right, but he, he's wrong, but he's right. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. It's the way they go about it, though, it's just... I mean, the Templars are right in a way, but it is the wrong in their execution. I think that's it. Like, their ideals are good. Like, but the, the they're just the way they execute is just so bad, dude. <laughs> Why? Why? Eric, I love you too, oh, brother. How you doing today, man? Church, you clever bastard. What is it? I was hoping I could wave you past the guards, but it has replaced most of them with men I don't know. Hmm. Well, I should be able to pass without arousing suspicion, but you... No. We do this together or not at all. Then what do you propose? I will find a guard who is off duty and take his uniform. Very well. I will wait here, then. Of course you will. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to come along and hold your hand, perhaps? Provide kind words of encouragement? Okay, so we gotta steal uh, an outfit. And James, I plan on playing all of the Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, man. We're playing them all, dude. Uh, in order. Okay, here we go. I think I could whistle him into that hay bale. Yeah, I think I could whistle him into that hay bale. The thing is, Connor doesn't truly understand what he's even doing. You know what I mean? He's kind of just... He's got his little morals that he has, but at the end of the day, he's kind of just doing what other people are talking about. You know what I mean? Castro, you're not lying, dude. The, the HUDs are very, very busy, and... The uh, Assassin's Creed games. I don't know if you can change any of that HUD. Let me see. So you could turn it off. Um. Yeah. So you could turn parts of it off. Oh shit. 
you know you can turn uh i don't know what ssi is we'll turn that off we'll turn that off turn that off we'll see how we'll see how it looks caspi i want i'll leave the mini map on you know what? we'll turn that off no we, we'll leave it on So you, you can't turn. It doesn't seem like you can turn the objectives off, though. Let me see here. So we're going to go ahead and whistle. Where's the whistle? Here we go. Shit. Wrong guy came. Wait, so I'm in trouble because I whistled. So you could turn a lot of the HUD off, except the objectives. It seems like you can't get rid of those off the screen. So we ended the Skyrim stream off in uh River Riverwood, right? Oh, we look good. That should suffice. Hold yeah, on. it is, it is, Caspi. Hold, strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The father of understanding guides us. You I recognize. Not the savage. He is my son. Tasted of the forest fruits, did you? Off you go then. <laughs> the forest fruits. That's a good way to put it. Definitely a weird outfit we're wearing right now. But I feel like I feel like Connor's pulling it off. He's pulling it off pretty good. I mean, yeah. Uh, the jacket, it's the hat, I think. Like, if he were not have the hat on, the outfit would be straight fire. It's locked. Give me a moment. Must be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. Always wondered what life might have been like 
Could she and I stay together? How is she, by the way? Dead. Murdered. What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry? I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. It's impossible. I gave no such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on more practical pursuits. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. Yeah. Benjamin Church. You stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. You're too late. Church and the cargo are long gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen to stand with the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. You always did prefer principle to profit. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half-breed fight, like some feral dog. Best we put him down, boys. Those two! Get them! Don't let them escape! Get him! The Indian too! Take him down! That one! And he's half free! Surround them! There it is. Where is church? I'll tell you anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live. You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half its hold with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. <laughs> you promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. You hate them as a sad. This music is so always so good. We I... need to get out of here. You don't say. Good. AC3 has the best music, like hands down so far. I don't know. Revelations is pretty good too. Now is not the time for sightseeing. So close yet so far. We need to find a way around the flames. I don't know, the music in Revelations was pretty damn amazing too. It's hard. Get back here, traitors! Oh, how I'll enjoy making you pay for your betrayal. Did church pay you well? We rewarded handsomely. And what good does your gold... <laughs> Damn, trying to take your time climbing the road. Oh, shit. Stuck. 
see if you can find something to pry it open. Honor? What are you up to? Oh. No, don't do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side! Hi! <laughs> Connor kept now. his hat on. Yo, Tishan, what's up? How you doing? Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly for to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready. Bitter end. I, uh, I guess it's gonna turn out bad for Connor. We should have let hate them die like all of those different times. I bet. <laughs> Shall we? So you ain't gonna row, dude? But he probably obviously it's his father, so he has that soft spot for him. Damn, we have my man Connor Rowboat. Oh, that's but oh, just out to our ship. Okay, yo, this is dope. Look I at this. I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Oh, yo, I love this have ship. Have faith stuff. in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? We are closer than you think, Father. Michael, how you doing, bud? We'll go half sail so we can navigate through here. Welcome. Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Whoops. Bring us in for a closer look, son. Seems the ship has been abandoned. In Valhalla's Creek, yo, it really does, Gaspar. was a slippery little bastard. After them! Awesome. There we go. That's like a little dinghy boat compared to what we got. Just gotta watch out going full sail through this. I might have to. Can we turn? Can we turn? I think we got it. We're good. Should have got a hit in there. Perhaps someone with more experience should take the wheel. There's another hit. Oh, shit. Yo, that wind was rough right there, dude. Can the ship go no faster? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, half step. Woo. Yo, you gotta watch out. Those rogue winds are crazy. There's some hits. 
Go full sail here. Hurry, son! We won't get a second chance at this! Do not da- Oh, we're not supposed to damage it. My bad. We're just chasing. I'm actually gonna ride this. Try to get a good turn here. Ooh, too sharp. Speed, Connor! We need more speed! How is it you came to captain a ship, given the way you sail? Shut up, dude! We gotta get it's almost as though you want him to escape. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We can open it up here. Damn these whirlwinds, man. Why? She's passing between the cliffs, boy, and the Aquila's too big to follow. We need to go around. All right, full sail. God damn it! We're going to lose him. Now we're good. We're good. We're good. What other choice have we? Those rocks would crush us. The current here is swift. We still have a chance. Nah, guys, it was that wind, man. Enemy ships approaching! Ready our weapons! Prepare to return fire! Church is using the ambush as cover! Take it before he escapes! Send that bastard to the seafloor! No! I need his ship afloat! The cargo must be saved! Stop him, Connor! Yeah, that was... Half sails. I want to. Do not let Church escape. Please let me get both. Let me get both. Let me get both. There we go. Focus on our true target. Ship, but now you seek to blow it up. Ah, uh, shit! I gotta, I gotta swap through the chains. Shit, man! He, he's that? I can't. I'm gonna have to go stop in order to turn sharp enough on him. We go. The hits. Come on, dude. Are you telling me I can't hit this little fucking ship? There we go. There's a good hit. There we go. Go half sails. Too far. That was big damage right there. Damn it. 
I ate that first volley from that man of war, and man, those ships do some stupid damage. Enemy ships approaching! Ready our weapons! Prepare to return fire! Church is using the ambush as cover! Take him before he escapes! Send that bastard to the sea floor! No! I need his ship afloat! The cargo must be saved! I'm a sitting duck right now. Focus on our true target. You should have listened to me. He's nearly away. No, we got it. We got it, dude. So we'll swamp over to our chain. Guys, we were we were literally ramming into those Dude, Those man of wars are dangerous ships. Wrong. That was good, good hit. That was really good. Two full hits right there. Morning time, baby. Men, prepare to board. Whoa. What are you doing? Ending this. Yo, he betrayed us, dude. Oh, I thought he was trying to sink it. Two arms! Two arms! Man the swivels! Cover from the quarter deck! Secure the outline! High off the bow! I need to get below deck. Who knows what madness my father intends? Whoops. What has Church done with the cargo?
Ethan's obviously going to betray, betray us. Working my way through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever. Some of them anyway. I'll give you credit for that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. We came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. No rescue de pache for him. And thank you guys for a hundred likes. I really do stole. appreciate it. Go to hell. I ask again. Where are the supplies? <laughs> On the island beyond. Awaiting pickup. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. No. Not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged from British steel? Who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands? How convenient for them. We do the work. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes. As though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path through life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. Dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ, and would not be Zawanios kinaa, nek tiah nete kantu ti tokaske. You did well. His passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. No, because you're going to betray me, and I don't want nothing to do with you. I can't trust him. I don't know, guys. I can't bring myself to trust him. I don't see why he would have our interest at all. He's like, lead Templar. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me, or Surrey? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor, but there was also truth there. I failed the order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened, which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. 
Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. All right, so we're, we're we're looking all right on the on the finances department. I actually want to go dump some money, a little bit more money into my ship. Ooh, actually we got some homestead missions here. Let's go check these out really quick. But waiting for some of these homestead missions so we could uh, start making a little bit more money. Thank God you are here. Prudence is missing. She went out to gather some things this morning and never returned. I'm worried sick. What if she's hurt? I will find her. The dog might help track her down. He has a good nose. Come on, boy! He has been gathering the evening primrose almost every night. She is obsessed with the oil it yields. That is all going to stop now. I don't understand why she wants so damn much of the stuff. She picked some here. She can't be far. We should split up to cover more ground. Hey, bro. Gonna anything yet? Yeah, we looked at came in at the powers tab eventually. The magic. I started using the healing spell later on in the stream. Yeah, we got the assassin turkey, Jim. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Yeah, we got the assassin turkey. Okay, so dropped her pouch. One shot, baby. One shot. Thank you so much, Connor. Thank you. I don't want to think what might have happened if you had not arrived. I saw some primrose growing Prudence! there, and the bear just came charging at me. You? Why are you gathering primrose? Well, Warren and I have been trying to conceive a child for a long time now. I read that evening primrose encourages Prudence! fertility. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry, this is not a proper conversation given the circumstance. I understand. Not another... Prudence! Are you all right, my love? I'll be fine. Thanks to Connor. Thank you, Connor. Once again.
There it is. Um, what has been my favorite mission so far? Um, I, I thought that whole prison sequence was pretty, pretty cool, pretty unique. Um, but uh, Conan, help. Conan. I, I don't know. There's been Conan. so many like, Someone like you know, the tea party that 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 war me. actually where we were, the He's our on. first battle there. I'm getting the um, voice. that one was pretty dope actually. Find them. I will handle it. Won't go the wrong way. Stop the burglars from entering the house. Stop! Come on, dude, really? Where's the trouble, Connor? So you'd hear past chasing a man. He was trying to rob your home. It has been dealt with. What? Oh, the women. I is everyone all right? You should have been there. What? I told you to head back. I didn't I need you. Since when is a skinny runt like you safe out in the bush alone? If Diana's here, I... Rex, what's going on? How you doing? Simple enough. Uh, so can now produce level two goods. All right, let's go ahead. Want to head back here really quick. I want to check that. I want to see what the level two goods like means in the ledger. Alright, so... Uh, so can I purchase... Oh wow, we can buy all this stuff. I don't know what we'd use it for, but... Uh, okay, for crafting and shit. I can now get wood again. Can only get one? Why can I only get one? Is that- oh, they only have one in stock? I think maybe we gotta wait. I need the kindling too. It says they have five of them. Or is it saying I have five in stock? Alright, let's go over to crafting. Um, so I could make a land convoy. Twin holsters require a wolf pelt and rosewood lumber. So 
So we'll do two of those. And then... <clears throat> For trading, I can send a convoy. Select resources. We will send away... I can only send away the wood? I can't send away anything else I have? Unless that's all I have. It's only tw yeah, that's not even worth doing. That's rough. Uh, you're better off just keeping it for crafting. It's only 20 freaking, uh... It's only 20 gold. All right, so we're going to buy... Bear pelts are the best. Um, so we can get the wooden hull reinforcements. That's a big investment, though. When we can just get better at dodging damage. Uh, extra cannon we already got. Heat shot. Improved rudder. Piercing rounds. And the naval ram. I wonder if making, like... Getting good at ramming and like I don't know, it's either rams or just going for the uh reinforced hull. But I feel like the ram would just be so fun. And I can afford it without spending all my money. Biddle's hideout. Alright, so we're going to try out another naval mission with the ram. That's if this is a straight naval mission. Anything, Captain? Due north of here. We go. Yo, is this going to be a, like, full-blown battle with another man of war? That, I, don't, I don't think it's a man of war. Storm. What's that weasel up to? Sheet anchor to windward, Captain. You can be sure he's got something up his sleeve. Where are you going? We must take the Randolph. Waves are coming in. Whoa! 
What? This is Assassin's Creed 3, man. I think I was supposed to. Whoa. That's bad. It's a bloody armada. I knew he was up to something. And he's turned to fight us. We're in it now, Captain. So what do we do? So we fight, Mr. Faulkner. Board the Randolph. Sink the rest. Fuck. Is that two men of war or just the one? No, there's two. Where's that? Good hits. Yeah, that hit that bounce off the waves. Sales. There we go. Good hit. Come on, dude. Oh, bad. Up my sails. Spin on them. Go. Yeah, these are not easy ships to go up against, especially three of them, man. Yeah, that reinforced hull is looking really good right now. Oh, there it is. Let's cut sails, spin. The waves are making us a little bit more difficult. But then it's also kind of working in my favor. Big damage. Big damage, baby. Big damage. Okay, it wasn't big damage, but it was damage. See, them waves are saving. I wonder if I could spin and then ram them. I don't know. I feel like that, that bigger ship's going to have a harder time maneuvering. Sales. That did a lot of damage, man, and I was. Yo, how's he shooting so frequently?
That was ridiculous, man. He, he was shooting so frequent that I literally, by the time I came up from a brace, he was able to just shoot at me again. We're gonna have to fight those damn Man of War again, aren't we? Yep. It's a bloody armada. I knew he was up to something. And he's turned to fight us. We're in it now, Captain. So we fight, Mr. Faulkner. Board the Randolph. Sink the rest. Straight up on us, man. Bring down our main mast. So we that one. All right, let's go focus down on these men of war now. Okay, spin on this one. Super good hits right there. Not yet, Captain. We need to deal with these battles. I can maneuver on it. Maybe. Yep. Open up a weakness. Captain, the Randolph is back that way. Got it. Let's go 
full sails. She's ours, men! Prepare to board! Biddle is mine! Yeah, so the strong point that we have compared to the Men of Wars is we're a lot more mobile than their, their ships. Man the swivels! Cover from the quarter deck! Secure the outline! Tie off the bow! What did you think was going to happen, dude? Oh, shit. Tenacious! Smart! Pity I have to kill you! Your reign over the colonial coast has come to an end. <laughs> Is that why you hunted me? Because you thought me an enemy to the cause. <laughs> now you're every bit the fool I was told. You brought pain and suffering upon innocent people for nothing but personal gain. Pain. Suffering. I set them free. Weeded out the dissenters and... Empowered the Patriots. So what if I was named Admiral? The revolution needs one, and I was the best man for the job. The only man. If not for me, the Continental Navy would remain but a handful of rafts. For all your vision, you assassins are blind to the truth. Enough. Wait. Let the Randolph die with me. Don't take her as a prize. Please. Lord Farquaad. <laughs> I want no quarter. Do you know the Muffin Man? Ship. The Muffin Man? <laughs> oh. I can't believe you mean to leave the Randolph. She's Nobody a in chat knows vessel, where that's Captain, from. And what of Biddle? You show him mercy in the face of... I guess that's that then. A tad overdramatic, if you ask me. Still, a waste of a formidable ship. How's about a cheer for the boys then, eh? Victory for the Akira! For her glory! Hip, hip, hurrah! Hip, hip, hurrah! Hip, hip, hurrah! Hip, hip, hurrah! I've been the Wild Rover for many a year, and I've spent all my money on whiskey and beer. And Yo, he didn't even hesitate. He was like, how about I? He was like, hurrah! That was a pretty good fight, though. Two men of war. I feel like we dealt with that pretty decent. It's not like I have all the ship upgrades.
So now we're going to look for Hatham again. I don't see how this is going to work out in our favor. But Connor thinks that we can convince Hatham to be on our side. So this will be interesting to see. Because Hatham, like, really believes in Charles Lee. Like, I don't think he's going to side with his son no matter what. So this is the black New York outfit. So we haven't really experienced much more of the American Revolution yet. We had that little bit in the beginning, but we haven't actually been fighting in the revolution so far after those first couple battles. Sir Vinius, how have you been, brother? I think it's been forever. I hope you're doing good, bro. <laughs> I hear that, dude. I know, yeah, I know. The time difference, man, it's rough. A lot of British troops in this area. I could swear the last time we were in New York, wasn't it like mostly American troops here? Just hate them again. We need to know what the loyalists are planning if we're to put an end to this. I've tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. We're so close to victory. A few more well placed attacks, and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars wait, had wait, wait, eyes wait. and ears everywhere. So is oh, Hatham on the side of the Americans? Cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the loyalist commanders. Okay, so Templar, uh, for, in my head, I was thinking the Templars were siding with the Redcoats. The Assassins were siding with the Americans. But it seems like both factions are on the side of the Americans. But let me guess, the Assassins leader is George Washington and the Templar leader is Charles Lee. They both want to America to overthrow the crown, but it's just which leader and what how the world's going to be run free of the crown. I think that's what I'm picking up. Right now, they're fighting over who's going to run America after. Do you not see these dudes, like, just hiding right there, bro?
Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. Well, they're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Ah! Oh! Ambush! Connor? Little help here? Leave the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them. Bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Bro, you didn't... Well, you best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. Oh, you didn't make it very far, bro. Yo! There it is. Move. Go to hell. I said move. Wait, wait. I I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. Damn, what's going on in here? Walk! Don't tempt me, bro. I'll put a bullet in you, bro. It's what I do. I mean, it's not like what I do. Obviously, you guys know I'm very forgiving. Go! Do you know the Muffin Man?
Oh shit. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. <sighs> the other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. Yo, he's a savage, dude. Clear summer squalls in the Windward Isles have reported to Greek... Hatham is a real savage. That man doesn't give no... He doesn't care. ...were lost with all hands. There will be a presentation of the latest sacred choral works from several Vienna-based composers... It's crazy how much Hatham just really doesn't care. He does the bullshit, Papa. I'm not I'm nowhere near that savage. I'm not that savage. Like I have my moments where I could be a little mean, you know, maybe not be as forgiving as I could be. But that's that's next level. Savagery right there. I've, yeah, I've turned over a new leaf. I'm not the same Brian I was, you know, three months ago. Completely different. I'm more forgiving, you know. I'm not the same Brian that played Fallout 4. It was shooting people. All right, let's see here. S Lucifer, that was a misunderstanding. Slip of the tongue. I wouldn't shoot a dog meat now. Like, you guys can't even tell me the last time I shot a dog was. Like, it's been a really long time. Let's see how much these sell for. Yamo. Yamo. Nah, wolves don't count. Wolves do not count. Especially wolves that try to kill me. A lot of raccoons. No, wolves, I because it's not like I've gone out and hunted wolves. Like, if I put wolves on the menu, you know, and then and, and went after them, that would be slightly different. You know, I'd, I'd say, okay, yeah, you know, maybe I was showing a little bit of canine aggression, but the wolves tried to kill me. Like, if it wasn't for them coming after me, the, the wolves would still be alive.
It's a big ass camp here. Or fort. Broken trust. We should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. Then we'll have to remedy that, then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Stop Connor. The Thank you so much what for the sub. I appreciate it. The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft? that by calling me son, I might change my mind. How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you. Damn, dude. Now I gotta kill a bunch of American soldiers, dude. Like, we're gonna lay waste to these. Yeah, there really isn't no sides. Nice one.
should make sure the village is safe. Everything looks good. Radun Hagedun Zashewe Nekti Ohnu Jera Wakanu Dunyu, where Dogati go Oya Rungwe, Ayazene Sege Unka Giga Oya Rungwe. They are Negojes, Charles Lee. Luana <laughs> Is Charles Lee trying to provoke something? Here goes the good music. Charging up, baby. Shit, they would have walked right into a death trap. There's so many American troops up there. Scana, gonna doggo. I don't have get them. I was a darn it, go. Nahoda? We go with glory near Charles Lee, but three out of the hundred don't want to join you. Keep at one thought. Don't go easy on saying what is it. A toga tigarungwe. We hold you to the zone. You go to the new. The answer that you under the squad. You go to the gunny. Next the owner gun run it. The one who guard him there. They got new scan again. Go next the one who new scan. The one who new has any a square. The new stats again. The new zone. You go to the hunter. The new what this one ducks at. The new zone. Go to the sun. The derisa. I'm going to do something on us, I hear you. Come on, dude. We didn't have to fucking... Connor, bro! Yo, Tena. That is a dance. It's a good head start. Red and I get him. Charles Lee. Mount Math. Was that the hardship? I saw going out to Marseille. They no hold them but three hot. When I did what you need. Jerome Saga. I saw going out to the. Oh, dog, thank you. Come on, there you go. Run out to the hot queen. I'm going to go to the summa. Oh, dear, the numb start. 
Iwe re ya na wandu ta ingwa ya ta nostadu ke. Ona wasa dresa yun jataro. I don't know why he assassinated him, dude. Like, why? Should have just knocked him out or something. You know what I mean? Like, fucking pinned his legs and rolled him. It's fucking a, a savage. He kills like a thousand people. You're telling me you couldn't disarm one guy? I mean, he's supposed to be Connor, you know what I mean? Like, you tell me he couldn't roll one guy? I don't know. I feel like if he wanted to, he could have disarmed that. It was a natural reflex. He's just, he's just a bored killer. He's just a killer at, at heart. It just, it just can't, it just happened. I mean, I get it. I guess I get it. We must hold this position for as long as it takes. If the enemy is allowed to push through, we will lose what precious little ground we have gained. The sacrifices your brothers have made today must not- Is this another battle? Connor, my friend. You have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rise away. I am left to pick up the pieces. they come from? Send word that we are falling back! Everyone, to oh, me! That's a lot now, of troops. Now. I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I will hold it? I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. They're shooting anybody. We have pushed these red coats back yet. But us some time, sir. That should slow them down. Yeah, you 
they actually hit somebody that time. We are low on ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape. Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the lost would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy, and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Yeah. Like, the fact that George Washington just isn't getting it, dude. He, he really doesn't. 
Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Oh, shit. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Yo, there's that Mr. doctor, Miles. dude. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. We should have killed him. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. And has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source. Leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want. For us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life. But letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Yeah, I chance. think this is our third modern day mission. We did Might the New York one, life. then we did the uh, one there in the uh, stadium, an the f UFC fight. What else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. They're probably holding your father on the upper level, same place they kept you. There's an elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see you. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This was a bad idea. I mean, we look shady as fuck, dude. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. You got a fucking knife. Oh, the K bar kill. Don't do it to him, dude. <sighs> and guys, thank you for almost 200 likes on the stream. Fourth floor. My man had the K bar. Where's my father? <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch me. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. Okay, I see here. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to climb on? Need eyes on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he? Oh 
my man had a gun. Sorry, but I just don't know where he is. That's okay. I do. You gotta shoot it a little faster. Give me the apple. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century, and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Inya is so stuck, Robota. Yet, get out. Team being controlled by the apple. The cross go.
Not now! Where's Vidic? So we got a gun? Vidic's office is up ahead. You... You killed him! Daniel was like a son. A sickly son, perhaps, but one full of promise. You cover so much. So well, and now you've taken him from me. From us, like the actor. Nelly, get that good sleep, all right? I'm dead, definitely. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks for helping me a lot, Brian. Ah, I had tough times, and you helped a lot. Thanks, man. This is a return for helping. Hey, man, I really do appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much, and I'm glad I could be here in any capacity for you. Desmond with a gun is OP. so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give Welcome me the, the family, apple. <laughs> I'm dead. You Thank you it? so much for the heart and Fine. membership. That is huge. Here it is. Wait! No! There it is! Brother, thank you so much for the welcome to the family. I really appreciate that. You never should have come here. You put everything on the line for what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. That was crazy. Desmond is definitely OP. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. All right, where are these power sources supposed to go?
I ain't hooked up none of them. In the beginning, when we thought we could be saved, we sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four Eric, towers get that good sleep, built, brother. To pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. Oh, shit. Is this not where the power source goes? This sh shit talking lady? We could not meet the sun's cruel embrace. Perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. Damn. These mofos were super. Wonder what's inside. Only one way to find out. One power source. Awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, 
What might a thousand do? Ten thousand? More? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control, to direct the beam, to enthrall the world, to speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. back to change the past but we could not find a way but forward we could look forward and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come first we watched to learn if our work would succeed but the answer was always the same so we moved on to other things but she remained, the one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. Tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the Apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the Apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on and then failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. No. So that's Abstergo's idea? Take the apple, shoot it up into the sky on a satellite? I mean, it doesn't sound like an awful plan. Doesn't sound like a good plan either. Get up over there.
Fuck am I? Okay. got over there by mistake I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know, maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. Just went from one to the next and then, I don't know. They must have left at some point, after the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them, but not for you. Sealed to protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. So we got those two open. I think there's a third one here. How many power sources do we have? Do we have three or four? Consume us, for we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice, not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita. My husband. My love. In the end, it changed him. Ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release. For days. For weeks. For months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for, for us. Ew. Stabbed the shit out of him.
Consciousness is a series of electrical impulses, and the body a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though. Were they right to turn away? Hey, do you think killing Vidic set up Sturgo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus, but they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Max, because we've been killing them for thousands of years and... I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. Okay, so we got all the power cells installed. Now we just gotta find a key to open this blue door, right? Hey. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The Loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army. Their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. Again? I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace. And I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, 
there may still be a chance for reconciliation. And through it, peace. Connor, he's asking for you. Hello, Connor. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. What Tell me of your latest exploits. Is he dying? Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Yeah, because the Americans turn Washington and take all their land Lee's anyway. Life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people. And all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Charles Lee may have been dismissed. But it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly. So I will go under instead. Incroyable. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever. So the main missions on uh, naval we're, we're going to start off on our, our awesome ass ship. I 
need your help. Oh, if you'd listen, none of us will come. <laughs> Time I set you straight. You need some scent? You need some sense knocked into you! I'm gonna smash you, you looby! Come on, scapegrace! I'm gonna beat you senseless! <laughs> you got what was coming to you! Mr. Miller, thank you so much for the sub. You all right? There's no need for this. Yeah. He's a blockhead. Don't kill off in a spell. Just need some time is all. Not angry, Godfrey? Me? <laughs> Not at all. Terry's just got himself a temper, and I won't let him get away with it. It's really no trouble. He'll calm down. The runt couldn't do much damage anyway. Does this happen often? Ha! Ah, I was just telling Lance how I can set the calendar by these events. It's really not a worry, Connor. But I appreciate your concern. So then now they're level three. Uh, Jordan's bringing his, his, his Tinder bots in. Oh, Jordan. Oh, weren't you on your deathbed? You've been following me all day, dude. <laughs> It's time to put us on, uh, put on that swaggy uh, naval outfit. Battle of Chesapeake. Break through the blockade to access the bay. Okay. Going to Chesapeake Bay. Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without peer. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship and a boy in costume. 
I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Mm -hmm. And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from Yorktown. Getting close to the end of the war. Is us. I only hope the Admiral's quick to return. Enemy approaching! All right, boys! Make ready for war! Looks like they're coming to say hello. Ready yourselves! Aye, aye! That's a lot of ships. Sail, get a good turn on these dudes. Got left this is bigger ship. Couple couple broadside shots and should be done. There's, right there's a lot of damage. There it is. They cheating, dude. How are they gonna do all that damage when I couldn't even move? Shooting rocks all at us? Once 
zone. Half sails. Uh, you know what? I might. Um, one more. Nope. Three more bigger ships coming in. See if we can cut in on it. There we go. We should have had a ram. Ooh, they turned into us. Go. That was a good hit. That was a really good hit. Got greedy. They cover, dude. Fucking shit was taking so many shots. I was like, yo, how many more shots is this gonna take? Dude, like the cutscene just let me out. <laughs> oh shit. Ship lost. Escort's all sunk. We're on our own now, sir. What about all the men aboard? Lucifer, brother, with the super chat. Let me get a t-shirt that says, I'll put a bullet in. <laughs> never, dude. I'll never admit to it. Lucifer, brother, thank you so much for the super chat. Come. I appreciate it, man. We must hold the bay until they do. Oh, this is madness. You're alone and we're without reinforcements. So the man of war.
beast is sure to sink us if we're not careful. He's not really planning to board them, is he? Has he lost his mind? He's going to get us all killed. The ship is yours, Mr. Faulkner. Well, fuck, dude. I didn't know, man. Skadoosh. Connor's got so much swag, dude. Connor's just like, easy clap, dude. Easy clap. They say you took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you asked for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu. Récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite! Welcome back. Is everything in place? We oui. Lafayette wish for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. That's or Connor? I don't know. Connor's got like that badass swag. Like Ezio was more of like a, you know, Ezio was like the ladies man and a very charismatic. Connor's just like a straight up savage, like. 
I feel like Connor kills people before he even gets out of bed in the morning. We need to distribute these blankets soon. Good riddance to these beggars. The city's better off without them. Did you rub them proper? Yes, never fear. They are co- Need some. Gotta see how this mission goes. Hey, Margaret, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Next episode, we'll probably be able to uh, finish the main story and uh, do the Tyranny of Washington DLC. How long would you guys say the Tyranny of King Washington DLC is? So where the hell did the mission go? Oh, it's right over here. It's covered up by the fast travel symbol. Yeah, it was covered up by the fast travel thing. No, yeah, Unity's a couple games away. Um, we gotta beat this one, then Liberation is next, and then after Liberation is Black Flag, then Freedom Cry, and then I think Unity. Oh, after Liberation is... I thought Rogue was after Black Flag. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, after... So then Rogue, then Unity. I don't want to get 
got it. Yep. He's quaff. Connor. This tunnel will take you into the military district. And the admiral. He waits for you to light the signal. And then the strike begins. And we will be there as well. The Butcher Assassin. I think Syndicate's after Unity, right? Okay, so we gotta light the signal fire. Yeah, I'm playing the games in the order they were released, not like in whatever weird, like, like I'm just going to play them how the, they were released. Keep it simple. No, nah, I'm not skipping any games. I don't care, even if they don't. Because the thing is, I'm playing the AC games for me. I mean, worst case scenario, if, you know, nobody at all was watching it, the gameplay. I would just uh, play it on my second channel or something. But uh, there we go. So, oh. Friendly fire. We need to get God damn it. Inside. Of course we gotta be hurt. Fort. Then we gotta take advantage when I'm out. Of oh, punch him in the nuts, dude. Come now. You cannot hope to match me, Connor. With all your skills, you are still but a boy. With so much left to learn. Give me Lee! Impossible. He is the promise of a better future. The sheep need a shepherd. He has been dismissed and censured. He can do nothing for you now. A temporary setback. He will be restored. Yeah. Is it really time to fight Haytham? Uh, you act as though you have some right to judge. Uh. And yet everything I've shown you, all I've said and done, should clearly demonstrate otherwise. We...
did not support the crown. We worked to see this land united and at peace. Under our rule, all would be equal. Do the Patriots promise the same? Yeah. They offer freedom, which I've told you time and time again is dangerous. Surrender, and I will spare you. Brave words from a man about to die. You fare no better. <laughs> Even when your kind appears to triumph, still we rise again. And do you know why? It's because the Order is born of a realization. We require no creed, no indoctrination by desperate old men. All we need is that the world be as it is. This is why the Templars will never be destroyed. Don't think I have any intention of caressing your cheek and saying I was wrong. I will not weep and wonder what might have been. I'm sure you understand. Still, I'm proud of you in a way. You have shown great conviction, strength, courage. All noble qualities. I should have killed you long ago. We've got a problem. Haytham doesn't have the amulet anymore. But the temple's still sending data. There must be more to this story. Charles has it, but... Only one way to find out. My father is dead. Charles Lee now leads the Templar Order in his place. I see now why ours is an eternal war. For each piece taken from the board, another is placed upon it. Back and forth we go, across the world, across the ages. Some days mine feels an impossible task, but I cannot afford to be consumed with doubt. The people need me. Hey, got the face paint matching our our I robes. Stop the Templars. I will kill Charles Lee. Wait, are we just already in the last mission? So I was going to end it here and then finish the game in the DLC next episode. But the thing is, that I'm pretty sure I won't be able to finish the out of animus stuff either within like the next 30 minutes. So I got to make sure I get some sleep, guys. But it seems like we're already like in the mission. It's not even like. You know what? We'll, we'll we'll rough it, guys. We'll rough it. 257 likes. We'll we push. We'll keep pushing. A man of vision, 
who sought to change the world. Charles Lee's right there. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now, the British prepare to retreat. Their spirits broken. Their forces splintered. The Patriot leadership shall soon follow. Either into our service or into the ground. And then, my friends, all of this will finally be ours. Well, Lucifer, we still got to do the whole um, Washington DLC. We have Hatham to thank for this. He and all those others who sacrificed for our cause. But he was not content merely to save the people of America, no. He sought to save those sworn to our destruction. He sought to save the assassins. Aye, it seems a mad thing now. And it co He sent me away that day at Fort George. He feared for my safety. I should have stayed. He said there was no danger. He was wrong. I will kill you, Connor. This I swear. Not here, though. Not today. No. First. First, I'll destroy so, all your thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. I'll burn that homestead of yours to the ground and roast the severed heads of your precious founding fathers in its flames. And when I've finished with them, all the rest will burn as well. Your merry band of assassins, the human refuse that lives on your land, your village and its people, all of it, gone. You can try, Charles. But as with all your schemes, this too will end in failure. Get him on his feet. He will wait. He will watch. And then, when he's seen all his life's work brought to ruin, only then will I allow him to die. Take him away. What do you expect? Trevor, thank you for the sub. I got no guns. Swords, no nothing. Don't worry, bro. You're already in a grave. 
Where is Charles Lee gone? The harbor. To catch a ferry. Yeah, I mean, Connor's good with the blade, so it's not like he really needs anything else. I didn't even have a chance. ship. So I wonder what HMS stands for. Is this the HMS jersey? Her Majesty's ship? Hallmark shopping that <laughs> way. Hey, Hardcore, thank you so much for the sub. You believe incorrectly. They're sick and weak. We're looking to build an army, not fill an arms house. It will take months to get them into fighting shape. We don't have the time. No, please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. What? Well, your merchandise is useless to us. 
Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. Disappointed. As you should be. For us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rash. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your needs. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master. Lucifer, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So I said, thank you so much for the super. Hydration is key. Okay, so now, now I'll actually end it here. I respect your commitment to the grind at Brian's Stay Hydrated, my brother. Now I'll, I'll end it here. We're 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 at a a, a a break point. I'm not in the middle of a mission. Um, so we'll end this mission here, and then, like I said, once we finish this mission, like the actual main story of the game, we'll go ahead and jump in, and uh, we're gonna be playing the DLC for this game, and then once we're you know completely done with AC3, we're gonna go and jump into Liberation. And then Black Flag and so on and so forth. So it's it's super interesting, guys, because we have so many games to go through. It's like, it's awesome. Honestly, it, it really is awesome. So I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride with me. Uh, it's It's been a lot of fun. Uh, almost 300 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate that. You guys don't understand how much that helps out. Uh, not exactly sure what I'll be doing tomorrow for streams. I know I'll be streaming. Not exactly sure what I'll be streaming, but pretty sure I'll be doing some Red Dead Redemption 2. And if we got time, maybe something else. I got some uh, renovation stuff I got to do tomorrow. So, But again, thank you, everybody, for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate all the love and support. Uh, Lucifer, again, thank you so much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. Um, if you guys have it on your way out, Hey, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really, really does help out. I want to thank you guys for 41,000 subscribers. It's, it's crazy. And uh, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.